If you love anime songs and want to learn Japanese, stay tuned because I'm going to teach Japanese through the Sailor Moon song, Fly Me to the Moon. So this was a fan request from Roya Ball. For those of you who don't know, I have a Patreon, and if you support me at the $10 level, I will make a video of your choice. This person did not support me at the $10 level at Patreon. However, <laughs> Roya Ball sent me a very, very generous contribution through PayPal. That is also something that you can do. Uh, and it was just so generous that I offered to make a video. And Roya said, hey, uh, can you break down Fly Me to the Moon from Sailor Moon? So that's what I'm doing. Now, as huge a Moonie as I am, I actually was not familiar with this song. It's from a music fantasy CD, I think the third volume? Like, I had the first volume of music fantasy. I had purchased the second volume of music fantasy, and I didn't really like it, so I gave it away. Actually, I think I sold it to somebody. Uh, but, uh, so I, I wouldn't have bothered getting the rest of the music fantasy CDs. But yeah, this, it's a cute, jazzy, Sailor Moony kind of song from Sailor Moon. So I have a link down below in the video description if you want to get that song. So let's get started. Whoa, the background is orange all of a sudden. Oh, she is Okay, oshiete comes from the verb oshieru, which means to tell or to show, uh, to teach, to reveal to someone. Uh, it's not always verbally to tell, but usually it means tell. So oshiete is the uh, commanding, uh, but nice commanding version of that. Um, so it would be tell me, or please tell me. Uh, moonlight comes right after that, so please tell me, Moonlight. And I've talked about this in other song lyric breakdowns before, but when English words are in Japanese songs, uh, sometimes they exist uh, just to fill space and sound cool, and sometimes they're in there like, like they're actually supposed to be in there as part of the song. And I think in this case it could be either, but more likely that it's actually moonlight. It's not just this filler word to sound cool. So please tell me, comma, moonlight. Kyo is today. No is like an apostrophe S, so today's. Tsuzuki is the continuation. So kyo no tsuzuki means the continuation of today or today's continuation. Uh, it's very literal. In good English, it's more like um, what happens today? How does this day end? Uh, what lies ahead today for me? Asta means tomorrow or sometimes the future. Donna means what kind of. Watashi is the feminine version of I, or sometimes it's gender neutral, but in this case the singer is female, so feminine version of I. So donna watashi is what kind of me, what kind of I, what kind of myself. Ni naru. So if you have X something, ni naru, it means to become X. So watashi ni naru means to become me. Donna watashi ni naru would mean um, what kind of me will I become? So ashita donna watashi ni naru is what kind of me will I become tomorrow or in the future? But in better English, it's like what kind of girl will, will I become tomorrow? So senobi suru is a verb which means to, to, okay, it's kind of complicated. It can mean just standing on your tiptoes. Like senobi is like to stretch out your back, um, but it's basically like to stand on tiptoes to appear taller because you are uh, working hard and trying to be like a grown up. That's kind of what senobi suru means. So if you change the suru to shitemo, it's even if verb. So senobi suru is just to try to be an adult. Uh, shitemo would be even if I try to be an adult. Mada means still. Yoake means dawn. And then the no is once again an apostrophe s. Sora is sky. And then wa is that particle that basically means as for the stuff that came before me. So the stuff that came before wa in this case is yoake no sora. So put the thought yoake no sora in brackets. So as for the yoake no sora, as for the dawn sky, mienai 
comes from the verb mieru, which comes from the verb miru. <laughs> so starting with miru, that just means to see. If you drop the du, because it is a du verb, and you change that to edu, it means uh, to be able to see, can see. So mieru is can see, miru is just see. And then <laughs> with a ru verb, if you drop the ru and you change it to nai, that means uh, the opposite of it. So mi e du is can see, mi e nai is cannot see. So sora wa mi e nai means cannot see the sky. Yoake no sora wa mi e nai means cannot see the dawn sky, cannot see dawn's sky. Mada yoake no sora wa mi e nai means I still cannot see dawn's sky. Then you add wa at the end of that, that is a very feminine. Um, sometimes sassy, sometimes like oomph, little emphatic uh, exclamation at the end. So it's like, no matter how grown up I try to act, I still can't see Dawn's sky. And there's some symbolism in this song. Um, later on in the song, she talks about it being nighttime and dark and, and she's like scared of stuff. Uh, so I think that's just a metaphor of, well, she's in, in the nighttime right now because she's still in adolescence, she's still in childhood. Uh, she wants to be an adult, she wants to be a grown-up and achieve her dreams, but she's not that yet. So we get into that symbolism later, but basically that's my interpretation of what this actually means. Why she's saying, I still can't see dawn sky. Demo means but, however. Shinjiteru comes from the verb shinjiru, which is to believe, to trust, to have faith. So shinjiteru means I am believing, I am having trust. I am in the state of believing. And then no at the end is another sort of feminine ending to a sentence, and it's kind of strong. If I, if I just said shinjiteru, it just means like, yeah, I, I believe. <laughs> but shinjiteru no. Shinjiteru no means like, oh, but I do believe. <laughs> it's a little stronger. But I have faith, but I believe. Tokimeki, that comes up in a lot of Sailor Moon lyrics. <laughs> so tokimeki, it's like the fluttering of your heart. It's sparking joy. <laughs> it is uh, passion. Kokoro is your heart, mind, or soul. And o after that means that uh, it's the particle that means a verb is going to happen to the noun that came before that. So a noun is going to happen to kokoro. Hakondeku. Okay, that is a verb that has gone through many transformations. So the original verb was hakobu, which is to carry or to, to bring, uh, usually just to carry. Hakonde is like the te form of hakobu. So hakonderu would mean, would mean like is carrying. Hakondeku means like it is carrying it and going, sort of. It's it's a shorthand for hakondeiku. Uh, this is more like the contracted version of that. So hakondeku, it is it is being carried um, to a destination. So literally, tokimeki, um, passion, my heart fluttering, uh, will is carrying uh, my heart, my soul. Again, I think that's a little more metaphorical, a little symbolic. It's more like um, my passions will, will guide my heart, will take my heart where it needs to be. So, fly me to the moon, that's English. <laughs> and this is, this is an example of where the line that comes after the English is kind of a translation of the English. So that's, that's sometimes what English does in Japanese songs. It's, it's either just filler that sounds cool, or it is translated in the next line, or it actually is relevant. Uh, Fly me to the moon. The line that comes after that in Japanese is tobidasu no yo. Um, that basically means to fly. <laughs> so tobidasu means to take flight, to fly. No yo is, is kind of like, it, it's like a fairy godmother giving someone advice. It's that kind of tone. It's like, now you are to fly, <laughs> young child. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't necessarily need to be applied to a child. I'm just saying that's like a pretty good example of like, no yo, like, yeah, hey, you do this thing that I tell you to do. Because I, I'm, I care about you. Tsukidokei. Uh, so tokei is a clock. 
But if you're adding ski before that, it's basically kind of making up a word moon dial instead of sundial. It would be moon dial. So moon clock, moon dial. Chodo means uh, just about. Hajimari no toki. So hajimari no is like at the beginning, and then toki is time. So the the beginning when when just about just around when it is time for it to begin. So I take that as like uh, it'll be time to fly to the moon, <laughs> just when the moon dial like starts to turn to that to that spot. me to the dream. <laughs> tonde yuku wa. So tonde is the te form of tobu, which is to fly. So tobidasu is to take flight. Uh, tonde yuku is like to keep flying. Um, I'm going to keep flying. That's what the yuku at the end kind of means with the verb. And then wa, again, we have that little sassy feminine ending. Like, yes, I will keep flying. Thank you, fairy godmother. <laughs> Hoshizora! That literally means star sky. If you look at the two kanji, uh, it means starry sky. Hoshizora no, so the star sky z. Uh, achi is the English word arch. So the arch of stars is a less clunky way of translating that, but yeah, it's literally like the starry sky's arch. But I'd say like, yeah, the arch of stars in the sky. Kienai is the negative form of kieru, which means to disappear or to vanish. So kienai is to not disappear or vanish. Uchini, so if you add uchini to the end of like a verb, it means um, while or before, like before verb. So kienai, kienai uchini means like while has not disappeared. So before they disappear while they're in the state of not disappearing. That's like literally what that means, but in better English it's like before they disappear. So, hoshizora no achi, so before the arch of stars in the sky disappears. I will keep flying. Terashite is the kind imperative form, like please, <laughs> not mm, imperative, but please imperative form of terasu, which is to illuminate. So terashite is like, please illuminate moonlight. So please moonlight illuminate. Uh, mirai is the future. No, apostrophe yes. So the future's doa is English door. So future's door or the door to the future. So please moonlight illu illuminate the door to the future. Akeru is to open, kagi is key. So akeru kagi, in this case the verb akeru is kind of acting as an adjective. So it's not open key, it is the key that opens, basically is what that means. Like um, yomeru shito, uh, yomeru is to be able to read, hito is person, so yomeru shito is the person who is able to read. That's kind of how that works with, you know, adding a verb before a noun like that, it basically acts as an adjective. The noun that can verb, or the noun that verbs. Uh, you add wa to the end of that, so akeru kagi in brackets, wa, as for the key that can open. Ah, what can that key open, incidentally? The line before that, the door to the future. So the key that can open, the door to the future, in brackets. As for that, mitsuketa is the past tense of mitsukeru, which means to find. So I found, I found the key that opens the door to the future. No ni. So if you have a statement and then you follow it with no ni, it means like, ah, oh, this statement is the case. However, alas, <laughs> like even though this statement, I am now going to follow it up with something that kind of cancels out what I just said, because it's like, like even though it was a beautiful sunny day today, um, I forgot to bring my sunscreen, so I couldn't enjoy myself at the beach. Like, that, that's the kind of situation where you'd use noni in there. It's like something, something, something. Isn't that great? Noni. <laughs> something, something, something. So she says, hey, I found the key that will open the door to the future. That's great, but there's a catch. Uh, 
Yodai is dark, Yodu is night. So dark night. Ni is a particle that means a few different things, but in this case it means in. So Kudai Yodu Ni is like in the dark night. So this is where I, I talked about earlier on in this video about how there's a lot of symbolism in here about like, uh, it's nighttime right now. Uh, during her adolescence, during her childhood, and the dawn, daybreak, is basically symbolizing like adulthood slash finding her dreams. Ima means now, at present. Kono mune. So kono means this, but it also means my. Uh, in this case, it means my. <laughs> so this heart, mune is heart or chest. Uh, it's not this chest, this heart, it's my, my heart, my chest. So basically, in my heart, it's still dark as night. Maigo means lost as in you can't find your way, you don't know where you are. Ni nari so. So do you remember ni naru before? X ni naru, to become X. Uh, nari so means um, it looks like going to become. So maigo ni nari so means I think I'm going to get lost. Looks like I'm going to become lost. Yo at the end is, is, is a strong emphatic ending to a sentence. And it's also a little bit feminine. So I found the key that will open the door to the future. Like, that's great that I did this. However, um, it is still dark as night in my heart right now, and I'm worried that I'm going to get lost. Demo, but. <laughs> Akiramenai is the negative form of the verb akirameru, which is to give up. So I will not give up. It's kind of hard to memorize Sailor Moon songs without like knowing what Akira Menai is because it comes up a lot. Makenai also comes up a lot. Akira Menai. But I'm not going to give up. Namida is tears. Va, so as for tears. Kaeru, to be able to change. And then the no. At the end of that statement, namida, namida wa kaeru no. That means like, uh, but my tears can be changed into, <laughs> in spite of what you might think. What can they be changed into? Do you say shooting star ni? So this is a case where um, the the words of the sentence have kind of been yodaized. They've been like rearranged so that they're not really in, in like their typical sentence order, but it sounds a little more poetic and it probably just fits the meter a little bit better of the song. So the correct way you would structure the sentence is namida wa, namida wa, do you say ni kaeru no? That would be like the, the normal correct way that you'd structure the sentence, but they just kind of rearrange that a little bit to make it sound a little more poetic, to make it more of a surprise also. It's like, well, dream, my tears can change. What into, might you ask? Into shooting stars, of course. It's like a little, a little more like poetic and neat and a little surprise in there. And again, it might have worked better with just the, the meter of the song and everything. Fly me to the moon. Um, habataku. Habataku is to flap your wings, really. Uh, flap sounds kind of floppy. <laughs> so beat your wings. No yo. Fairy godmother's advice. Beat your wings, my child. Tsukiakari is moonlight. So tsuki is moon, akari is light. So tsukiakari, moonlight. Abite is the te form of the verb abiru, which is to bathe in. So bathing in the moonlight. Hikaru tsubasa. So hikaru is a verb that means to shine. Tsubasa is a noun, which is wing or wings. So remember that, um, that rule earlier where you've got a verb and then you got a noun right after that. What that often does is it makes the verb an adjective. Like it, the verb is basically describing what kind of noun it is. So it's not just tsubasa, wings, it is hikaru tsubasa. It is wings that shine. So shiny wings. De is a particle which means with or like by way of, by use of. So using shiny wings, bathing in the moonlight, I am going to beat my wings <laughs> in parentheses. So in better English, it's time to beat my wings glowing in the moonlight. <laughs> or even more romantic and more localized, uh, beat my wings kissed by the moonlight. Right 
tashkametai comes from the verb tashkameru, which is to make certain of something. So this is again a do verb. If you drop the do and you change that to tai, it becomes the I want to do the version of the verb. So tashkameru is just to make certain. Tashkametai is I want to make certain. What does she want to make certain of exactly? <laughs> So akugare is like your dreams, your goals, your fantasies, and like with a person it can mean like your crush, uh, your aspiration. So akugare wa, so as for my dreams, my goals, my aspirations. Tada no means like ordinary, like just a. Maboroshi is a illusion or like a fantasy in some cases, a delusion, an illusion, a fantasy. Janai means not. So, maboroshi is just illusion. Maboroshi janai is like not an illusion. So I want to make certain that my aspirations are more than just like pipe dreams, illusions. Yume is dream, like literal, you're asleep, you're dreaming, <laughs> but it can also mean symbolic, you know, my dreams, my aspirations. Uh, not to be confused with akogare though, akogare is like slightly different. Uh, yume e, so e is a particle that means towards, so towards my dreams. Wataru uh, means to sail, actually. This is kind of cool, I think this is the only time I have seen in Sailor Moon that I can think of off the top of my head uh, any reference to actual sailing like a ship because <laughs> usually the sailor metaphor or not really metaphor just the sailor motif of sailor moon is more based off of just sailor school uniform it's not really like she's an actual literal sailor on a ship so i think that's kind of cool uh that they're mentioning sailing imagery here so yume e wataru so sailing towards my dreams sailor moon sailor moon so you just kind of reverse that entire word order in that sentence. Uh, Sailor Moon sailing towards her dreams. Like, I am Sailor Moon sailing towards my dreams. So that was my breakdown of Fly Me to the Moon. Thanks again to Roya Ball for the generous donation and for suggesting this to me. Sailor Moon says, if you want to support me on Patreon, follow the link in the video description below. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday about anime, and a lot of them happen to be about Sailor Moon. Bye!